How's it going, everybody? Uh, today is July the 1st. Give you a little update on the tomatoes. Okay, first thing. These were supposed to be indeterminate ruckers that I purchased from Lowe's. Uh, Ferry Morris was the brand, and I uh, had about four or five of these plants. They all turned out to be determinate. Unfortunately, I pruned them as indeterminate, so they didn't produce. Took them out. So as you see, I've opened up some space, giving everything a little room to breathe. Neighbor and I have been working on trellis and uh, we came up with that huge piece of bamboo and it's finally holding. All the tomatoes are nice and heavy. The plants are, they've got to be seven feet now. Um, everything looks great. One of your fruit, um, I picked 25 pounds the other morning. I've still got fruit to pick. I've been giving tons away, just like I planned. I can't complain. So down in here, this is, um, I guess you would call this my primary tank. See that little float valve? When you're using salt-based nutrients, this doesn't work. The salts clog it up. Everything looks pretty good. Um, I do have some bugs. Who doesn't have bugs? said Olympic cucumber. Just going straight up. I did some pruning on it. Um, still setting flowers. Still setting fruit. If I could keep enough nutrients to it. Um, every afternoon it's wilted. Look at all those tomatoes. You can do this, folks. So let's talk about nutrients for a minute. I was using Master Blend uh, 41838 and mixing it uh, per manufacturer recommendations. And it, it did great. I ran out. I went to the local hydroponics shop. He wanted to get into Master Blend, but um, I guess the buy-in is a little high. But he makes a very good nutrient himself. Um, and he has been extremely nice to share that nutrient with me and uh, that's what I've been using for about two weeks now and plants I, I, I can't tell any difference in the plant growth so uh, I'm very pleased